are still trying to make up for some lost time that we had when we had to shut down. This is only going to be part two. And we're trying to, you know, make this not a thing <laughs> in the future. But for this premiere, it is a thing. So because we know it's frustrating, I think that the next part, we'll probably just have that as full length available for everybody too. Sounds good to me. Let's do that. Full length, which is something that we offer to those who support us over at patreon.com slash where you can watch uh, along with us yes. using your own footage. Um, we can only keep so much stuff in YouTube. Yep. This is everything. So if that's something that interests you, you can check it out down in the description or pinned comment below. You want to check it out. Hey guys, Cruel Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. Rick, we're back here with part two of the premiere of season six of Lost, the yes. final season. Check it out. Last time on, Rick. Well, Juliet died again. Yep. For real this time. Probably. Or she did. No. <laughs> but there's also another Juliet alive in the other timeline. Another slash time. multiverse slash a dream? I don't know. I like to call it, because of the language of loss, we have the flashback and the flash forward. I like to call it the flash sideways. Flash side. Yeah. Okay. I can see it. Yeah. So we got some crazy stuff happening in an alternate timeline, but we also got crazy stuff happening on the island for realsies, too. Uh, and one of those is that the island deity, Jacob? Jacob's dead. Is dead. Long fortunately, live. fortunately, we have someone that's, uh, that can see the death. Yes, <laughs> true. Long live. Long live, not Jacob. Not Jacob. Esau. Esau. Indeed. The man in black. Uh, yes, who uh, made himself very known to the uh, Jacob's bodyguards as... The smoke monster. The smoke monster. <laughs> and wearing the face... Of John Locke. Of John Locke. It's complicated, but the shit like that gets me excited to see more. Um, guys, we just got a whole lot of stuff to talk about. Saeed shot. We got to get him to a temple... Uh, there's a the guitar case, but there's also, what what else? Oh yeah, it's the final season, and we gotta get started. Harley looks good in red. I like it. Yeah. I don't look good in red, I'm too red-faced. Mm. Miles, come on, hang him back. You got it, boss. I love that he still calls him LaFleur and boss. Oh, really it feels like he's been dying for days. Saeed? Saeed. Yeah. But it hasn't been that long. But it feels like it for him. I love that look. It's like, we got business, but I got to take care of this first. Are you, are you saying that it's not here? It appears it was never put on the plane. <sighs> that guy can just never be found. What is it getting? We're not exactly sure where it is. <laughs> A body, man. I would not want to page Dr. Shepard and tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> I also like that Jin probably is, he's probably one of the people that know the island very well now. Yeah, security. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bringing him in through here. I think Jacob's beside him. Where else is he gonna go? Yeah. Poor Saeed. <laughs> <laughs> I like when Hurley is leading, you kind of get that Hurley music mixed in with the music a little bit. A little more bumbling, the drums. I can't pick out the themes. Sure. Hurley music is kind of like, boo, 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 boo. It's like a little more like, drummy. And whirl with, uh, wind, like wind music. Lose some bodies. Why is his arm missing? <laughs> mm -mm. I'd be jumping. <laughs> it's like when we played that moving out game. Yeah. Switch. You're right. <laughs> Kate. Kate? Wandering off? I don't hey. see that happening. <laughs> <laughs> I love the music. It's so dumb sometimes. Bum, bum, bum. We did hear about a group at the temple yeah. before. Reminds me of uh, Link to the Past Temple. Yeah. A little bit. In the Dark World? Mm-hmm. Anything to declare? Just a murderer. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. Hold it. I can't hold it. Sure you can, kiddo. I believe in you. Edward. Please. All right, come on. She stole that pin. Anybody in here? I got you for two minutes. <laughs> Damn doctor's pens. Do you ever do that in a public restroom? Nope. I always wanted to, I'm afraid. 
At the moment I'm going to do it, someone's going to attack me. <laughs> I swear to God, you don't open this door. I'm coming in. Jesus! Well, it's no shrapnel to the gut, at least. Though he did get his head hit by that suitcase in the original timeline. What's a 341? That's confidential, sir. Well, if it's confidential, how the hell am I supposed to know if I see one? <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Ladies first. <laughs> Just ask gone, James. I know she's coming. I know. It's so dark. I love how him and Hurley's abilities are similar, but very different. What did she want to do? The word. Doesn't matter what they said. It's not going to help you. I like their red outfits. It's kind of cool. Here, Yuki Sonata. Yep. <laughs> they were on the first plane. Hey. You sure? Yeah. 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 Same thing the statue was holding, right? It's like the gas station onk. It's tied to the bathroom key. <laughs> Hugo. They just made the list. Hugo Reigns. Tell him. I love how Hugo is just... <laughs> he's in it. Paper said if your friend there dies, we're all in a lot of trouble. Saeed is one of the touch, right? By Jacob? Yeah. What business you're in? We know that son can speak English, right? Mm-hmm. But he doesn't know. Mm-hmm. No. English. I wonder if Customs needs to have some type of translator there for this type of situation, you know? Usually, like, you call, mm. right? You put yeah. them on a phone with someone. I got punching bag, Rick. I don't know what that it's is. It's a bell. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a sore surprise. <laughs> the water isn't clear. <clears throat> what happened? Is it an auger? Mm. Yeah, I think this is just what happened to Ben, you know? It's a really cool set. Yeah. What a badass. It is. An auger. Who's an auger? Uh, telling the for uh, fortune telling mm. device. Oh, it's a healing. I see. If we do this, there are risks. Do what you have to do. It's a very doctor-like conversation they're having. Yeah. I mean, this is the man who detonated a nuclear bomb. Mm-hmm. I think he's willing to take the risk. I think you hire an actor like Hiroyuki Sonata to be like, all right, he obviously knows what he's doing, but <laughs> also, why isn't the water clear, you know? Yeah. Into the Lazarus pit with you. Hey, let him up! <laughs> yeah. Shoot them. Your friend is dead. Pen on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> He's a doctor. Do what he, he's gotta do what he thinks. Remember when he's doing this to Charlie and Kate screamed at him to stop. Mm -hmm. You wanna stop watching? <laughs> we have this site. Yeah, I know. And arts, Leslie Arts. He's a teacher. Has Leslie. some respect. I was a teacher. We don't deserve respect. You know, you deserve to get paid more. She's still in her cuffs. Yep, she can't get them off. What's the point of a card reader? <laughs> that lady forgot her card. <laughs> we have a door that's a card reader, but you can still, you know. <laughs> Giving out our secrets there. I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thanks, so lady. Kroger. <laughs> He's so mad. Yeah. Go now. Wait, I already have a customer. I see. No. Sawyer? What are you doing? Uh, Go now. Claire. Claire. We haven't seen Claire in so long. Zach, Emma, and take the rest of the people over there. Those are the kids from the plane? Those are the kids that, yeah. 
Yeah, the first night they came and took the kids, and uh, she was taken as well. Yeah. The flight attendant. <laughs> of course, Sawyer didn't come easy. <laughs> You're not translating anything I say to him. Which means you totally understand me, dude. <laughs> He's dead. You guys didn't know? <laughs> Prepare the ash. Uh oh. Why wasn't the water Smoke clear? Smoke monster's coming. When one god dies, like in D and D, what happens to the followers of the rival? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good. Damn. They got cool bamboo rockets. It's to keep him out. Him. Ooh. And cut to Sawyer. Burning bodies. Oh, <laughs> You're the monster. Let's not resort to name calling. He was very confused when you killed him. I seriously doubt that Jacob was ever confused. I'm not talking about Jacob. John. I'm talking about John Locke. Do you want to know what he was thinking while you choked the life out of him, Benjamin? I don't understand. Isn't that just the saddest thing you ever heard? <laughs> the only one who realized how pitiful the life he left behind actually was. Oh. I want the one thing that John Locke didn't. I want to go home. <laughs> Look at that. Look! I hate him. I love Terry <laughs> Quinn so much. I love Locke and... Oh. If you ever want to talk, I'm around. <laughs> if you ever want to talk, I'm around. <laughs> he doesn't sense him either. Yeah. He's not dead, Jim. Yeah, they lost my father. It's gonna be easy someday. Son. They didn't lose your father. They just lost his body. <laughs> Come on. It's such a sad life that he has. All that was in my suitcase was a bunch of knives. <laughs> my condition is irreversible. Nothing's irreversible. <laughs> some of my favorite scenes. How about that scene? Just pure character work. Lapidus! Sorry. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> they have no idea. What's happening there? You're not in ash. I don't think bullets are gonna do much. It's good to see you out of those chains. Me. <laughs> <laughs> great shot. That was a good shot. It's just really ramping up. After the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Said was moving. Oh my god. He's alive. He's alive. What happened? Boom, boom. And that was the premiere. <laughs> <laughs> all of that, those two episodes were all in one night. And people are like, <laughs> you know? we got to uh, process it a little bit more. Good way to start. Which I think is the best. Yeah, right? Dead is dead. Except when it's not. Miles was looking at him. I know. And Hurley didn't see him either. Hurley was like talking to him, but yeah, Miles has a very different connection well, yeah, to whatever it's, that it's is. like um, the dead seek out Hurley, yeah. but Miles seeks out the dead yeah. in a way. So much going on. Yeah. But I, I've, you track it pretty well, I imagine, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I think so. Right. They picked the right actor to be the monster. <laughs> yes, they did. Because he can be terrible. Like, I love that shot when he's, like, in the pure brightness, and he's talking to Ben, and he's talking about how sad John Locke is, and then he goes out to what he wants, and he goes into the darkness. And yeah. Terry O'Quinn is just so good. Because he can make me scared of him in those scenes. But my heart, Rick, in that scene when he tells 
Jack that they didn't lose your father. They just lost his body. Yep. Is such a heartfelt emotion from someone we know has such a sad life. And yeah. regardless of timeline shit, you know, when, when the man in black uh, tells Ben what he was thinking at the end of his life, it's heartbreaking. It is. Yeah, no, it's one of the saddest ends I can think of. Yeah. For, for such major a major American television character. Beloved character. Yeah. But I love it. I know. I would want to know the way. I know. And we still have the sideways yeah. that's still out there. Mm-hmm. And we have him. He's the big bad of the show. Like, they lucked out getting Terry O'Quinn in the show. I, I truly think that if he weren't cast, it would have been a very different story. Uh, yeah, he's killing it. And now, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? He didn't do? kill Richard. He didn't. So what's he going to do with Richard? Like, he said he wants to go home. So what is home for him? What is home for a... Demigod? God? (laughs) I don't know. Yeah. Is it another realm? Is it another time? Is it a place? I mean, we've seen Jacob leave, no problem. Yeah. But it seems like he talked about Locke was the only one here that didn't want to get off this thing. Also, he was a fool. I want to (laughs) leave. You know? Sure. Like, at least at the beginning, there were a lot of people who didn't want to leave. Like, yeah. Sawyer didn't want to leave. Yeah. Kate, if she needed to leave, needed to get out of there so the cops don't get to her, right? Yeah. And Everybody is, for lack of a better term, lost in her life. Well, I guess Ruth is the big one, right? Yeah. Who has never wanted to leave and still is that way. Uh, Rose. I'm sorry, yes. Rose. Yes. No, I get you. Rose and Bernard. Yeah. I mean, we see them. They're living their best life. Like, if there's such a thing as the will of the island... It shines brightly upon them. Yeah. Like, Bernard, at least, like, he tried to make the sign with the stones. But, like, Rose has always not wanted to go, I think, one way or another. But I understand the sentiment. Yeah, of course. And in terms of, you know, people of faith and people of practicality and science, she was always, she refused to believe that Bernard was dead, right? Locke refuses to believe that his life wasn't going to some great destiny. Yeah. And he died. And now his face is being used by an island god. Yeah, who seems to be able to pull miles and knows what his last thought was. Yeah, he does. We've seen, I mean, we can talk about it, we've seen the smoke monster appear as people before. And sure. they seem to know, sh- he, he knows stuff. And show, yeah, memories mm-hmm. of the people he's been tormenting as well. Yeah, like there's this idea that like he'll scan you, like he scanned Mr. Echo, and then Mr. Echo started seeing Remy yeah. and started seeing visions. And we know he started having dreams. He took know? John, well, he encountered John at least twice yeah. that we saw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we, uh, we also have dead Saeed in this episode. Yep. Kind of. I mean, those guys <laughs> that uh, they believe that they're like, he's dead. Yeah, and when it's Hiroyuki Sonata, I believe that's what you like. You know, like I said, like casting a character that's immediately like he must know what he's talking about. Sure. He's a dick, it seems like, but he knows what he's talking about. But I love his like, he knows about do do do. Shoot then. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was great. That was very funny. And because I've recently watched The Last Samurai, I know Utai is fire. At one point, they go Utai. I'm like, hey, that's from Last Samurai. Oh, I mean, it's from J- Japanese, not from Last Samurai. Yeah, I just mean I recognize the phrase. <laughs> sure. Like this pool of water. Like we've seen people be healed separate from this water yep. on the like island. Like the island itself. Yeah, so like what? what is this pool? Yeah, it's very interesting because we've been presented with what the others are in kind of different ways. Like we've seen others wearing bare feet yep. going through the jungle. And then we would kind of assume, all right, well, they, they were kind of play acting because we've seen... The big Ben's beard, others, the big beard, yeah, you know, uh, Mister Friendly, Tom mm-hmm. Friendly, um, but they also were kind of like Ben's group and being advised by Richard. But it seems like at the temple, there's this whole other group yeah. that might be different, right? Like sure. they have no idea what happened to Jacob. They're kind of isolated, but they seem a little more like island mystic-y in a way. Yeah, I kind of wonder if it's like um, like monks, right? Yeah. Like you have different kind of monks. You have monks that like stay in the church yeah. and read about God and like never yeah. really leave and then you have the monks that go out into the world sure. and spread the word and 
Yeah, uh, you know, to use a biblical story, and we mentioned this a lot in Lost, Job, like Job was a man of God, but he wasn't a priest. Yeah. He was a worker. He was, you know, he had a family. Like, maybe Jacob's followers, they're not all the same. They're very different people. So anyway, we have this temple group, and yes, they have this this water, though, uh, I don't know if they mention any names. The hippie-looking guy, that guy that yeah. looks like John Lennon. Mm-hmm. His name is Lennon. Okay. That's <laughs> so, easy. That's easy enough. That guy's <laughs> name is Lennon. He's pretty much just the 3PO of the group. Sure. But they do mention, like, why is the water not clear? Clear, yeah. Yeah, so. Is that because Jacob died? Jacob's dead right now. They had no idea. Yeah. Well, I wonder, yeah, I wonder if um, it represents a balance mm-hmm. on the island somehow, and now that balance has shifted So if into darkness. Yeah, if the light could heal you, like they said, like with Saeed, like he's gone, he's dead, but now he's not. What does the murky water do? Sure. Like what did the man in black achieve in killing Jacob? I would assume absolute power, Yeah. but I, I don't know. Like I don't know what was, if the man in black's goal has always been to go home. Yeah. Like what stopped him from doing that? Yeah. Is it Jacob? Mm-hmm. It, are, were they like banished by some other deity onto this island mm. with these conditions of rules? Yeah. And, like, now that that's been usurped, he can go back? Yeah. Well, I know, but <laughs> I really like the thought processes. I don't, and I I don't know how the sideways timeline is going to tie into everything. Yes. Because that just, it seems, like, nothing really has happened there yet, other than, like... They seem very disconnected stories. Yeah. Right? The only thing that could possibly tie them is that Miles, in that... In my opinion, it's a very brutal scene what Sawyer did to Miles, like forcing someone onto the grave of your loved one, like forcing them into the dirt. There's something about that I just yeah. feel very dark. Well, and like he knew Juliet for years and he stuff too, so like yeah. that's his friend. It is, and I, also. I love the detail that Miles, who again in his life he's been very lost, like he kind of enjoyed working for Lafleur and Boss, and he cares about him in a way, yeah. but. Sawyer is very grief-stricken Distraught. right now. He wants Jack to suffer, which he is. Jack is... Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> Juliet, in her last moments, we know that's how Miles' power works, yeah. right? In the last moments, was thinking it worked. Yeah, so like... If the whole point of this was to reset, then that's really our only yeah. little tiny thing of like, so what is... The connection here. Yeah, how is she aware of that? Yeah. Is she only aware of that because, like, death connects these two things? Mm-hmm. Or... I mean, we know that she was going to say something and couldn't. That's all we know. Yeah. And just, I, I love that Miles says, like, even if you find out the answer, you're not going to be satisfied. That's not how this works. But Sawyer's stubborn. I love so much that when they bring in Miles and Sawyer to the temple, Sawyer is just completely knocked out it's like well yeah <laughs> yeah <do> that for <laughs> him. I think it's really funny the King Saeed like Jesus as well they were yeah you know when it's interesting Saeed is like one of the very few other than Hurley to be visited by Jacob after the island right sure there's like there's always theories of like did Jacob want his wife to die or did he spare Saeed yeah by interacting with him so they both didn't die you know yeah, well, word is like Saeed and Hurley somehow part of the backup plan. And if Saeed is meant to be there alive, then he's shot and dead, and then he sends Hurley to make sure Saeed goes here, but then the temple, you know, like there's all these little things where it's like, well, how much does Jacob know? Yeah, I wonder if Jacob is there right now, yeah. watching all of this. Yeah, right, exactly. Because I, I figured, I kind of figured like Hurley would look over when they ask him for proof, mm-hmm. like he was listening to Jacob. Yeah. But instead, he just seemed to remember about the guitar case. Yeah. No, I, I think that Jacob, like, when Hurley sees him, I mean, I guess it's happened before, but generally it's like when we see him, Hurley sees him. But there has been moments where Miles or uh, or even Hurley will be like, well, he said this. So implying that he's looking at him right now. He's, he's done that with, like, Charlie before. Yeah. So, no, I get you. I know that he's very frustrating to watch. But I, I love Matthew Fox as Jack Shepard. It evokes so many memories for me, like seeing him 
like he said, like what happened to Saeed? He goes, well, I didn't shoot him, but it's my fault. And the Juliet, he's like, that's my fault. Like he takes everything on himself, and he's constantly like, I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. Yeah. And even he's seeing a dead body of Saeed, he's like, I just, I can't lose someone else. I gotta fix it. He's a doctor. There's, it, it, it can be frustrating, but there's also something about it that it's just such a clear, flawed character that kind of got burnt now, right? I mean, he was on the, the John Locke train of, like, believe in it. There's something here. But now we know John Locke died confused. Yeah. And now Jack is just, what do you, what do, you do now? Like, I put all my eggs in one basket. Yeah, they're <sighs> all just pawns in these games yeah. between Jacob and the guy in black. Know. And I, one of my favorite moments <laughs> in this episode is the man in black, or I should say Locke, he's like, I'm not a monster, Ben. And he just like kicks off the blunt wood, uh, <laughs> like stake going through a man's chest. <laughs> it's like you can drag him to burn him. Yeah. I'm not a monster, Ben. <laughs> I've always really liked that moment, too. I know he's aware of, of that. Yeah, I really like Jack and John's sideways scene about like John's talking about it being irreversible and Jack saying like nothing's irreversible it's a for me it's like a perfect character scene because it shows those two when the situation is right can be such a great team yeah like they can make up for each other's weaknesses and they have great weaknesses despite being exact opposites yeah in philosophy and it just yeah and it just makes you think like man if things were different none of this would have happened and it makes me think like this this is the relationship that Jacob and the other guy had. Yeah. And like, it has gone through the same things that mm-hmm. their relationship went through. Yeah. We also had a little tiny bit of hint about a character that's very mysterious, Richard. Yeah. There was a scene where he goes up to Richard and he's like, oh, Richard, good to see you again. Nice to see you out of those chains. And Richard's like, <laughs> <laughs> obviously recognizing someone he hasn't seen for a very long time. Yeah. So this, uh, that's very fun as well. Yeah, maybe Richard was like a slave. Mm. I will give the smallest of spoilers in that we will learn a lot more about Richard this season. That's great. Yep. Looking forward to it. Oh, I mean, that's, again, the list of things that I want to say, that's down here, <laughs> but it's awesome. So, yeah, I think that's the premiere, guys. Do you have anything else you wanted to cover before we jump more into the season? No, yeah, very excited. Patreon.com slash blindwave. You can watch more right now. Guys, let us know if you are enjoying these videos by hitting the like button, by making sure that you're subscribed, and commenting down below. What was your favorite part of the reaction or the discussion? What are you most excited to, to see Rick experience? But please try to mark your spoilers for people that are also watching along with us. So be courteous, be kind, 